Hey everyone, it's Greg the TV Genius and I am a TV Genius today. We're talking about Salem. Happy Easter everybody. And tonight is the Salem Season 2 premiere. Oh yes, at 10 o'clock, 9 central or whatever. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> not sure what it is over there. But it is tonight at 10 on WGN and it's going to be such a great season. Um. I can't wait to see what happens. It's going to be such a cool season premiere, and it's just going to be a great episode. We're going to do a video tomorrow morning about it. I'll be releasing that to you guys, but let's talk a little bit about season one, and what an amazing season it was. What a great show. I was I was very excited to see it. Um, I, I didn't even hear about it. I was on my PlayStation Network, and they offered it the first episode free, so I downloaded it, and I was just blown away. I thought it was scary. It was sexy. It was just a great show. Um, the actors aren't as great as I I'd normally like on a TV show, but it's still just a wonderful story. Um, I've always been interested in the Salem, you know, history of Salem and what happened there in the witch trials. And it's so cool, their spin on things. I mean, they've made it to where it was actually the witches who were having people hung and killed, and it was innocent people that were dying because they needed a certain amount of people to die to start this apocalypse, this witch apocalypse called the Grand Right. Um, they used something called the Malum, which was an apple that opened up and there's a character named Isaac and he sprayed him in the face and I think he is very sick. Um, I think he's going to be the start of it. He's going to be the reason that these plagues start and it's going to be so cool to see what happens in season two with that. I can't wait to see where Mercy is this season. I think she's one of the more interesting characters. It started off, she was being tortured this season, in season one by Mary Sibley and she was coming to her as a hag and uh, just, just terrorizing her. Just awful. I mean, just awful to this woman. They shaved her head and put her in an iron mask and paraded her around town and now she's a witch and this season she does not like Mary Sibley. I think she's got a vendetta and she has herself a following, a little cult of women. And it is going to be so cool to see where she is at. Um, let's talk about John Alden. Last season, he is Mary Sibley's love interest, which Mary Sibley is the town leader, sort of, because she married the richest man in town, the richest Puritan in town, and then shoved a toad down his throat, which is her familiar, I'm guessing, shoved a toad down his throat and made him kind of... Uh, paralyzed, you know, where he couldn't do anything, can't talk, can't say anything, can't tell on her. So she's kind of taking control of the town. And her old boyfriend, John Alden, which is the one I want to talk about, he had kind of left uh, years earlier to go to war and hadn't been seen since. And then he just came back. And apparently he has some secrets. It turns out that he was kidnapped by the Indians while he was at war with them. And uh, then he was kind of turned into an Indian and turned against his own people. He killed his own people. And it's finally come out. Um, everybody wants to kill him for it. And Mary Sibley wasn't having it. So she outed herself as a witch to him. And he was blamed for being a witch, which he isn't, of course. But she outed himself being a witch and, you know, made helped him escape and helped him break free from being hung and now they are on the run together we're going to see what happens soon i can't wait to see what's going on um we've got ann and she's just killed both of her parents after finding out she is a witch and she seems powerful she seems bad and it is going to be so cool i can't wait to see what happens with her she is one of my favorite characters and one of my favorite actresses on the show i think she does such a great job playing Anne, and um I love Cotton Mathers. I think he's an awesome character as well. At the end of the season, he had his hooker taken away from him. And he went crazy. His dad took his hooker away. And now his dad's dead as well. He just so happened to be the 12th victim of the Grand Reich. So, that happened. <laughs> so, I think Cotton Mathers this season is going to be very, very distraught. Very crazy. And it's going to be interesting to see what happens. I can't wait. Um. We've got Techiba, and she'll be back this season as well. Luckily, she didn't. She wasn't one of the victims of the Mather family. So we're going to see what happens. Uh, I'll talk to you guys tomorrow about season two, the season premiere. It's going to be so great. I can't wait. See you guys then.